Hi, my name is Eugene and um, in this video tutorial I will show you how to fix uh, a problem with the um, Windows Group Policy Client service. Uh, my computer um, was installing some Windows updates then rebooted and crashed uh, during the reboot and uh, after that I noticed that um, only administrative uh, users can log in into the computer and uh, uh, the message appeared uh, up and log on uh, saying that Windows cannot connect to Group Policy Client and this will prevent regular users to log in into the system. I was trying to look for a solution over the internet but unfortunately I didn't find any. I was able to resolve this problem and I'll show you how to fix it. Here you see my laptop screen and now comes the message I was talking about. As you see it says failed to connect to Windows service and uh, uh, Windows cannot connect to the group policy client. Um, because again I'm administrator, um, it prompts me to review the system event log. Uh, I can tell you that will not you will not see much in the event log. All you can see that uh, probably um, Windows have been installing some updates, initiated reboot, and uh, the reboot was not successful. Uh, Windows uh, complains about the previous system shutdown being not clean. What happens actually, reboot corrupted some uh, registry settings, and what we will need to do is to go into the registry editor and fix these settings. There are a few ways of starting registry editor. One way is to press Windows key together with R key, R as in Romeo, and uh, the run window like this will come up. You just type in regedit in the open field. I will type it here. It was there before for me, but you probably will not have it. So when you click OK, I will click Cancel, and I'll show another way. You just in search program or files, you just type regedit and it will pop up in the list. So we will start it from here. Now, because it's a protected program, it asks for elevated permissions, you just click yes. And when program appears, you will see something like, like this. And we will go to H key local machine key, system, current control set and services. This is a key where all the services which are running on your machine are listed and what you should look for is the service which is called GPSVC. And we're gonna scroll down until we find this service GPSVC right here. So we can open uh, the folder and see that there is a parameters and security folders. There are a bunch of parameters on the right side. Uh, we can you know, change the folders, see different parameters. Uh, basically, because we found this key, it means that uh, the service is in place, the service is uh, good, we don't need to worry about it. Uh, one important thing I want to show you, that's the image path here, uh, and it has GPSVC group um, keyword, and later on we will see that this GPSVC group is actually missing in a different part of a registry, and we will need to recreate it over there for svchost.exe to be aware of how to start group policy client. So let's have a look at another key. We go back to the very top and now we go to each key local machine. We can collapse system. We go to software. We look for Microsoft. Then we go to Windows NT. Windows NT folder right here current version and then we need to look for SVC host SVC hosts right right here. 
SVC host I found it right here let's open it and as you see there are a lot of folders which tell Windows um, how to run the services basically you see all these data on the right is uh, uh, telling what kind of services Windows can run and uh, all the parameters are stored on the right here with a data column and uh, these uh, services must contain the GPSVC group uh, value parameter uh, which is obviously missing here um, and that's because during the reboot um, Windows did something to the registry and erased this um, this key as this piece of information is missing we will need to recreate it uh, as it was defined in the previous path so what we'll need to do is to create a new one we right click on SVC host say new and select multi-string value click on it and we type GP SVC group it created the multi-string value and now we need to assign actually a certain value to this it's a, it's a name of the uh, parameter and the parameter has, has to have a value the value must be GP SVC we type this in we click OK it appeared right here we are halfway done now after we created this GPSVC group we need to create this folder under SVC host you see the so what we need to create we need to create a GPSVC group folder or as again as it's called key in the registry so what we do again we right click on SVC host right here select new and this time we select key new key appears and we name it GP SVC group and press enter now we have a new folder new key on the SVC host key but it's empty so again it's it's a, it's some sort of a bug in the windows which erased it so we need to recreate some parameters there what I did just now I just clicked on the blank space empty space it brings up a new uh, menu and under this new menu I need to select um, D word value and I should name it authentication capabilities authentication capabilities one word and press enter then I double click it and assign the hexadecimal value of 3020 I click OK and double check the decimal value decimal value must be 12320 I did it right okay now the next and the last parameter which I need to create again new D, D, D word and I should name it co initialize security param once again co oops I made a typo co initialize initialize security param right I check the spelling I press enter now I double click this variable and assign it a value of 1 1 is always 1 so this completes the changes and the, the only thing we we'll need to do now is to close the registry editor 
and reboot the computer. And we'll be back when the computer is back online. I'll show you that the problem is gone. Here we are, the computer is back online. I'm gonna log into the system and we're gonna watch for the message. Alright, the desktop is coming up, some informational messages, but so far we, uh, we're looking good. Alright, so the problem is solved. To be completely certain that the problem is solved, let's go to the computer, right click there, and uh, select manage, right here. Which will bring us to the screen where we can check which services are running. So this is the management console. We can go into the services and application applet, click on services and look for the group policy client service. I usually switch to standard view. So let's scroll down and search for group policy client group policy client it's right here and as you see in the status it says started which means that the service is started successfully if you go into the screen before you change the registry you will see that the uh, status will be blank the service uh, was not able to start um, and this is a service which is protected by operating, operating system meaning that if you double click here you will not be able to stop or pause or restart the service you see all the controls are actually grayed out it's it's what windows does it protects the this particular service and most of the services which are vital to the system it protects this way so it's normal but the most important thing, it is started, so the problem is really, truly resolved. For the advanced users, I can suggest to go into the event viewer uh, to check the system log and event logs if you're curious about what's happening there. But for the rest of you, this concludes my video tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And uh, I thank you for watching. Have a nice day.